Hey everyone, it's Joe and Irfan from The Automator, and today I'm really excited because we, we've had this tool in V1, but now we have it in V2. Irfan's converted it over. Controls are phenomenal. Um, granted, they're often for the older types of Windows programs, like he's going to demonstrate here with Notepad. Let's say you wanted to, you know, control to change this text there. So this tool just allows you to get what it is. And as an example, you can change the text here. He could just type something, whatever he wants and set it, this is just confirming we're on the right thing, right? But that class and then slash control edit one, that's what you use in your syntax, auto hotkey V2 syntax, right? This tool compared to the window spy tool, which has 8 million things to look at, this is just for working with controls and makes it very, very simple. Um, we covered controls in our intermediate auto hotkey course, which we just released the other day. Uh, so it's a great tool. I'm glad we have it in V2. Now, here's a really cool thing. Irfan, go ahead and switch to the admin version of Notepad. Now, often people new to auto hockey will get hung up on this. If your script you're trying to automate is an admin level, um, you can't control it. But our GUI here is going to let you know that like, hey, hey, dummy, you need to relaunch your script as an admin because otherwise you won't be able to do anything with this program, right? So it's awesome. We're adding this to a couple of our other tools as well, this capability, because it's really cool. But yeah, that's it's really cool. Do you want to demonstrate anything else with it, Irfan? Yeah, we have a uh, tree. Uh, like, if I want to look at the tree, I get all the controls from the tree. And if I refresh, I get to the root of like desktop, and I, I have all the control of all my running applications. Like, these are all the windows available there, so I can control them. I can from there. I can change them and even I can change the button text. Yeah, demonstrate. Yeah, change not, that button. Not okay. <laughs> so, with so we, you could even hide that button. You could move the button. Like, it's really, really powerful. This is why, you know, it, even if you're newer program, if you're trying to automate a newer program, you probably can't use this. But if you're automating an older program, you can really do amazing stuff. And there's also a find control. So, like, I have here not admin notepad. I can say text admin notepad. And now here I can select class that is edit, edit field. And now I can select a process like <laughs> these are the filters. So notepad. Oh, this this huge list. So and yeah, I selected the notepad. If I hit OK. Yeah, I found found it, and uh, I will. So if I double click it, I will get to that edit button, and uh, now I can change. I cannot change that text because it is the uh, admin not that. Yeah, if I drag this, then I can know it's admin process. Now, and if you relaunch Simple Spy in admin mode, you would be able to. But yes. it's just a reminder of like, hey, when you go to control that program, you need to be in admin mode, or yeah. Or rethink why that program that you're trying to control is an admin and have it not be elevated because often it shouldn't be, right? But sometimes they are. So yeah, check it out. Um, it's a free download. We'll, we'll have it packaged with the V1 and V2 version. So if you're new to controls, uh, we have it in both V1 and V2. But uh, yeah, this is really awesome. I'm really happy because it was very confusing when you first start working with controls and the, the class NN is the actual proper thing. I put control next to it there because all of the syntax in auto hockey says control this, control that, get control. But it's really the class NN. But in the Windows Spy tool, that's what it'll say is class NN. And it's just confusing at first. So in our tool, we put class NN kind of like next to it. But that just helps you say, what control am I looking for? And uh, while converging this, like now V2 is and the V2 GUI is very easy and there were so many variables like was being used in V1 version so we get rid of them it it took us a time <laughs> but we figure out so what are these and we do not need to use them so this is now very simple script and uh, all the GUIs are at one place and uh, everything is simplified Unlike V1, 
So it was quite fun converting this script. Yeah, awesome. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please like the video. It really helped us out. I'll put the URL where you can get these scripts up on the screen. And have an awesome day. Cheers. Bye.